Hey, Adam, Jeez, why, why do you think they called bumpers, Gary? <laughs> I don't know. Because they come at the beginning at the end, like bumpers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Alex, you're a marketing guy. Do you like that design behind Paul? Does that, that sweet logo thing look pretty cool <laughs> to you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> yeah, um, that's, that's really professional, isn't it? it? Well, this is a professional podcast. <laughs> I met her in a parking lot and was handed two little Yorkies. And the only person I knew that knew Yorkies was Paul. So I called Paul and said, Paul. <laughs> Sweet Talk is a weekly 20-minute podcast brought to you by the Continuing Education and Workforce Training Division of Idaho State University's College of Technology. Find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and SoundCloud, and subscribe today. Now, it's time to get started with Sweet Talk. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sweet Talk, ISU's Continuing Education and Workforce Training's weekly podcast. Uh, with us to joining us today is Shirley Hockett. She will be filling in for Paul and Ray Lynn. She is our uh, go-to substitute host for this. She's very, very good at it. How are you doing, Ray Lynn? Or how, Shirley? <laughs> Sorry, I'm so used to saying Ray Lynn. <laughs> That's how okay. Are you doing? Certainly. I'm fine. I am fine. The conference is over with. Now it's time to de-stress. And for those of you watching, Shirley has a little bit of a prelude in her background. She's going on vacation shortly to the Caribbean. We're all excited for her. Well, today we have uh, some special guests with us. As some of you regular listeners have known, we've done a series on student clubs. And joining us today are the prices they have started ISU's United Way student group. Welcome. Can you take a moment to introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about the club that you guys started? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Um, my name is Kara Price, like you said, and this is my husband, Kyle Price. I'm a full-time student at ISU studying Spanish for healthcare, and I'm also a pre-PA student. Yep. <clears throat> I'm also a student at ISU. I'm a health sciences major. I'm pre-med and my minor is in Spanish. I'm the vice president of the club and Kara is the president. Yeah, I forgot to say that. <laughs> no. So what got you, what made you guys decide to start a student United Way club here at ISU? Really, it was a conversation I had with our vice, vice president and dean of students, Matt Daly. He connected me with a couple of the ladies that work at United Way and then it's pretty much stemmed off of a different project I was working on. And I was like, oh, we should start a Student United Way Club because, I mean, you can always do more good in the world. <laughs> that is true. That is so true. Now, with the stu you, Student United Way Club, what are the philosophies and main goals of the club? Well, our main goal is to help um, young children, mostly like uh, elementary age, but also stemming all the way up through middle school and high school, but young children and youth within our community, no matter their background or walk of life, be able to envision themselves as an ISU Bengal in the future. So really just want to help change the trajectory of some of these young kids in our communities and outstanding areas. Well, we're a very service-oriented organization, and so in order to help these young young kids and students around the city. We try to put together different service projects throughout the year that focus on helping kids who may be at risk or who may not, you know, have the opportunities or may not realize they have the opportunities to go to college. I think that's extremely admirable. That's also in line with a, a United Way here. The United Way of Southeast Idaho supports other organizations. So, uh, and you'll hear, you you probably heard from Wendy Ames, if you're a listener of us, she was on just a couple of weeks ago with the United Way. So they're very, very focused on really helping uh, other charities and organizations within the community. So this is a branch of that. Now, you guys are both health majors, both know some Spanish and are majoring or minoring in Spanish as well. How does this group connect to your own goals or your own, what you guys have experienced within your own lives? It's a great question. <clears throat> I feel like 
as far as it goes, it is a little bit different from our, our long-term goals. Like Kara's long-term long -term goal of being a PA, my goal of being a doctor. But at the same time, it all connects and just our motivations to joining healthcare and that's to help people. So whether that's helping just children or being able to help people of all ages, that's just kind of one of the things that I feel like is super important to Kara and I. And especially if we can help other people and especially kids be able to have the opportunities that we've had and that, you know, our family members have had, then that is something that would be very important and meaningful to us. Yeah. I think <laughs> along the lines of, of how it connects to what our goals are is um, I'm majoring in Spanish and then going into PA school to help um, underserved populations, those who speak Spanish and might not have the adequate care that they deserve because they don't have a Spanish speaking provider or they don't have translators or interpreters and things like that. So that's really my goal with PA school. But I think it just, like Kyle said, stems back to the underlining goal of wanting to serve underserved populations and those who maybe don't think that there is um, help for them, you know? So things like that. Well, I'm just going to go on a bit of a side note here. I think that what you guys are doing is so important to your future in a way that I don't know if you guys have thought of. You probably have, but I broke my ankle recently and I did not have to worry about my health care because I have state health coverage. I'm a state employee. I have health care coverage. The thought of whether or not I'm going to be able to afford that health care never even crossed my mind. So what you guys are doing is helping people get into college and gain an education. Hopefully will ultimately give them a health insurance or a health care where they themselves will be in a position where they don't need to worry as much about how they're going to pay for health care in the future. So I think it's, you know, it's beyond just being able to buy a home and afford food and get in a position where you're not in like an Alice family situation uh, for students who may not really understand how to go to that health care is such an important part of um, our lives and the ability to afford that goes hand in hand with being able to afford like a, a decent standard of living so I think what you guys are doing is fantastic thank you yeah I haven't thought about it that way before but that's definitely I don't know, another sobering way to think about what we're doing and how our our actions now will impact future generations and future people. So, Well, and I think you reaching out to the students who may not feel that they've got the opportunity to go to college, that you can help them find the way to go. Mm -hmm. You know, if they've got the desire, there's always a way to find the student to help them get through college. I think sure. that's great. No, have you guys do you have you guys been able to organize other students yet? I know this is a brand new club. Has there been a really good supportive atmosphere within the university itself? I think within the university itself, yes. We're still definitely, you know, a new small club. There's only a few people that are really active, but we definitely have hope that as we do more do more things, do more service activities and are more I guess more active because we, um, yeah, as we're more active as a club, I have hope that more people will join like the the core club of Student United Way. <clears throat> I feel like we definitely have a lot of support though from from administration and and just overall from like the teachers, professors at at ISU. Everyone understands the goal of United Way and especially of our chapter of of Student United Way. So now just kind of on us to help the students see that as well and see the opportunity that they have to to really make positive impacts in other people's lives. So. Yeah. Um, with regard to support outside of our group, I think we also see that within different student organizations. There are a couple different clubs and organizations that are interested in helping us with our initiatives. It's just getting like we said, our core group a little bigger. So that way we can um, create these service opportunities. And then they we already have other clubs, like I said, that have said they would help with those. So we have, we definitely have hands on deck. It's just getting things finished, organized so we can start implementing our ideas and stuff. 
And I'll tell you, I'm so impressed with all the students we've had on for our student organizations. Uh, you know, we there's a kind community club that just started. We have not had them on our podcast yet, but we had the quirkiest club. We had the the uh, grilled cheese club on, and we were totally unaware of what they did. And it's such a unique club because they'll serve grilled cheese and then have other organizations come in and talk to the students, whether that's scholarships or financial aid or anything so that the students know, ISU students know what resources are available on campus. And it's, you know, we look at people like you guys and people like that have started the Grilled Cheese Club and what you're providing, not just to the students at ISU, but the community as a whole. And it's such a great thing to see such young people think about others in their community and how that can um, affect and support their own future. Mm -hmm, for sure. So with the United Way, you've talked about a little bit of the services that you guys will go out and do. Can you tell us like an example of what one of those community services looks like? Yeah, we've been playing with uh, <clears throat> a few ideas. Um, we're looking at collaborating with the Boys and Girls Club as well as the Bannock Youth House Foundation. Um, it's really just, we need to connect better with their administrators and make sure that we can, I guess not make sure, but find out what how we can best serve them. So those are kind of the things that we're looking at implementing this semester. And then next semester, we're also hoping to continue doing those things, but we're looking at doing a volunteer week. So really putting our efforts into that project. Um, with that, we'll, we're planning on having, you know, a whole week of volunteerism and actually um, being able to include the whole university in it and just have a bunch of different volunteer activities that people can do throughout the week. So that one's still a pretty fresh idea. We're figuring out all of the nitty gritty details of it, but that is something to look forward to in the spring semester. Well, we look forward to that as well. We hope to see you guys more on campus. You did mention this was a new club. We knew that when we invited you guys in. What was that process of making a new club at ISU? It was a pretty long process. I mean, Kara and some of the some of our friends from United Way were in the talks for probably about six months before we were able to actually get it started. I mean, we had to, Kara went through and, and made our constitution, <clears throat> had to get people to join because you have to have at least eight to start the club. And so it was it was quite a process. It was. We were talking, um, I guess, when did the process start? This like probably about this time last year is when we started and then we didn't get the club like officially founded until the middle of April. So it was a pretty long process, but definitely worth it. <laughs> and now are you guys both seniors or do you have a little bit of time before with this club before you move on to a graduate school? Unfortunately, I graduate this coming spring, so <clears throat> that, yeah, I won't really be able to be a part of the club anymore, um, and then Kyle will graduate next fall, um, so basically both of us are going to have a short-lived time in our fresh little club, but we have some other executive officers that are um, really, really involved with us, and they're looking to be able to, you know, keep the club's vision going for their next couple of years. And then hopefully as we get more traction, you know, they can pass down their information and knowledge mm -hmm. to other people that become interested and in, um, more involved in the club. So you're grooming your next replacements. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's so great too. ISU actually has a United Way campaign for those who are listening that happens in the fall where we give uh, faculty and staff an opportunity to become involved with any sort of donations or, you know, United Way, again, supports other organizations as well. 
So there's always something someone can find that they highly support. They have a really, really great program for early reading, which is actually done extremely well in some of our neighboring cities. Um, they also have transportation programs and health programs. So there's going to be something the United Way supports and the student United Way supports that just about anybody can find their passion in. Um, what's really great about what you guys are doing is that it opens your eyes to the United Way and some of these organizations they support at an early age. I didn't really know, you know, I'm in my 40s and I didn't really know what the United Way did until probably about a year, year and a half ago when we first had Wendy on and when I first started hearing about ISU's United Way campaign. Um, now, how did you guys first hear about the United Way? Because that's, that's what's interesting to me is that you picked such a, a great organization to partner with, but because I had it hurt, really knew what they did till my 40s, I'm interested to how you guys heard about them so young in your life. Yeah, <clears throat> I think it's definitely one of those organizations mm -hmm. that you kind of hear about throughout, especially like in this area. Mm -hmm. Um, where they're more active and stuff like that. I feel like it's something you just kind of hear a little bit, but it's like in passing. You don't really mm -hmm. sit down and think, oh, what is United Way? It's just like, I think mm -hmm. I've heard of that before. <clears throat> but for us specifically, it was, I was working within a different organization that we're a part of, Associated Students of ISU. Mm -hmm. So I was in one of those meetings and with my um, my role within that organization, I, I really just stumbled upon United Way mm -hmm. and then I emailed them and it was to collaborate with um, ASISU, but then it ended up being something, you know, way bigger instead of just like a one-time collaboration thing. So, yeah. Yeah, and I, I think part of that too is that the United Way supports other organizations. So I think we're more likely to hear about some of those other organizations um, and what they do and the United Way supports them. Mm-hmm. Yes, for sure. Yeah, I, I had no idea what, what United Way was until Kara came home and was like, I think I'm going to start a club. And I was like, what about? And she was like, United Way. I was like, what is that? And so it, it took quite a bit of explaining before I was like, oh, okay, that's what they do. I was I was a little confused, but, but it's been really good. Yeah, that's awesome. So we're running out of a bit of time. Uh, if as we wrap up, now, if someone, if a student at Idaho State University is interested in joining the United Way, or we do have listeners from across the country, or if a student at another university is interested in starting a United Way club at their campus, how would they get a hold of you guys to either join or learn what you guys did to uh, start the club? So we have an, a Student United Way Instagram it's studentunited.isu. <clears throat> and so they can direct message us there or they can email me at Kara Kenner at isu.edu. Um, and I'd be happy to give anybody more information about that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Shirley, for joining us. You're very if welcome. Anyone, thank you. If anyone would like to uh, know about your local United Way, you can just Google United Way in your area. Here, it's the United Way of Southeast Idaho. But again, we have listeners all over the country. So if you just Google United Way, lo your local one should pop up. Ours does support many, many local projects. So your United Way website should show you what they do support. Again, ours is very, very local and regionally focused. Um, if you are interested in any of our activities or getting a hold of us at uh, Continuing Education, you can reach us at cetrain.isu.edu. That is our website. Or you can call our office at 208-282-3372. Uh, um, thank you again for uh, letting us know a little about the United Way uh, Student Club at Idaho State University. We wish the club and both of you all of the luck in the future. I think the club's not only going to do great things, but I believe the two of you will also do really wonderful things in your career as well. So thank you so much for joining us. If you like this type of content, our podcast, 
uh, is our way is continuing education's way of reaching out to local clubs and organizations on campus, like the Student United Way. It also allows us to reach out to other community organizations and departments within the university and our greater community. You can help us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channels. You can find us on YouTube and Spotify or on SoundCloud, as well as everyone it reaches out to. That really helps us gain a reach and you will get notified uh, of other podcasts we have for other institutions and student clubs that we have as well. So thank you so much and be safe out there.